100 meters on the top of this one. I lost there, uh, lost traction. Straight in that lowest gear, and let's just grind it up. This is tough, this gravel stuff. Hey, welcome to this week's video. Today I'm up in Skipton for my first ever gravel event and I'm diving straight into the deep end with the Yorkshire Dales Gravel Epic. This is an event put on by the guys at the Glorious Gravel and is touted as one of their most challenging rides. So it's only 100 kilometers, but don't let that fool you. The gravel in the dales is super slow going and the climbs are hella steep. In total, there are five main climbs totaling just over 2000 meters and it's evenly split between the road and gravel. Unlike events you see over in America, there's no mass starts and instead we're set off in waves of around eight to 10 riders and I'm setting off in one of the last waves. <laughs> Thank you. Just done the first kind of gravel section of the of the uh, of the ride down a bit of road, uh, which is a welcome welcome bit of respite. Uh, means I can take the hands off the bars and uh, get some food and get some water in. Yeah, done 20k now, uh, or about 21, 22k. Um, yeah, one major climb over Embassy. Yeah, it's a lovely kind of gravel uh, climb. Quite big, big chunky rocks in it, but um, yeah, with these tyres, I was uh, kind of monstering through. Uh, felt, yeah, felt really comfortable. Um, and that little descent, which we've got to go back up later on. Yeah, that's uh, that was very techy, very steep. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to look forward to uh, going back up there. That's for sure. So I think I've got a bit of road now for a little while. Um, and then, um, yeah, obviously more gravel. So I'm now on to the uh, second climb of the day. I think this one starts on road and then turns into gravel at some point. Uh, yeah, legs are feeling pretty decent. Um, I keep overtaking people, which is uh, which is good. Yeah, I think that Mallorca form is definitely here. I'm able to keep quite a, a high tempo and not not feel that like it's been too taxing, which is uh, yeah pretty decent. Quite quite pleased by that, which uh, hopefully continues for the rest of this event. Morning. Today I'm riding the Vetus Substance CRX, so that's the uh, Tram Force one by equipped uh, frame. But I've changed out the uh, tyres, like I said in the video before, um, around here. The gravel was like big and chunky so the kind of the tyres that the bike came with weren't really suited for uh, stuff around here so uh, I switched those out and I've gone for some uh, mountain bike tyres. So yeah so some 650B mountain bike tyres, um, just jumped onto some gravel, uh, yeah so some 650B mountain bike tyres which uh, yeah kind of roll over the rack rocks a little bit, a bit better. I think they're 2.1 inches wide so I think that's about 56, 57 millimeters, which uh, is a lot bigger than Vita's claim you can fit in here, but onto the next section of gravel now. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, check in with you in a bit. absolutely beautiful oh this little bit of single track these little bridges are pretty cool and downside 
the only downside to this ride so far is all these little gates quite annoying it just completely kills your momentum you think you're catching up to the person like 100 meters up in front and then a gate comes in and you just say oh yeah start the chase all over again note to self don't try and vlog while riding off road it's only gonna end in tears what was i just saying about the gates So yeah, just done the uh, second kind of road section, um, but now on to the uh, Mastil's climb. So uh, yeah, this is a, a long one, um, and yeah, quite a famous one around here. Not done it before. Yeah, looking forward. Well, I say looking forward to it. Yeah, it's definitely going to be two type two type of enjoyment. I'll, uh, I'll enjoy it afterwards. I think it's just getting through it. Is the, is the main part. So I went past the first feed stop didn't stop myself um got enough stuff on so yeah so today i've got this uh like vest on with um one and a half liters of water and then got beta fuel in a bottle and then yeah a few gels and uh some tunnocks uh camera bars which uh, should pretty much see me through most of the ride so yeah hopefully i don't need to stop at all my um refill with some water towards the end i think there's three feed stops in total so yeah maybe the last one i'll stop there and uh yeah stock up on some water yeah it's starting to warm up now yeah the cloud cover for most of the start and uh yeah slowly this roving taking the arm warmers off next to come off will be the knee warmers probably halfway up this climb <laughs> So I'm not sure how well the camera picks this up, but yeah, it'll go all the way up there. Bloody hell, that's going to be a climb and a half that. Plus, yet another gate. <laughs> not what you want starting the uh, climb with, yeah, with zero momentum. This is going to make it harder. But I guess, same for everyone, isn't it? Straight in that lowest gear, and let's just grind it up. Well, spin it out a bit. So I'm about 100 meters on the top of this one. I lost uh, lost traction and uh, yeah, ran out of gears as well. All legs, one or the other. And now, yeah, a bit of hiker bike to the top. But yeah, it's only like 100 meters or so. Bloody steep. It's like 12, 13% on gravel with uh, big, big, big boulders. It's like loose gravel as well. So that's well, just loose rocks rather than gravel and uh yeah it's just hard to get any momentum and uh hard to get yeah any traction even with these beefy tires never mind walk to the top it seems like everyone's doing his walking so there's no uh no shame in that Time of my life. <laughs> Come on, mate, you go. Cheers. Just uh, ticked over halfway, which is uh, very, very happy about. But yeah, so we just up by Malamtan, which is, uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah, I think that's probably the best section so far. Um, kind of like flat gravel and uh, yeah kind of rolling quite fast which is uh yeah because the last the section before that was uh yeah a massive slog especially having to walk up the top of that climb and then through those sheep fields yeah that's not gravel but yeah that gravel there around the Malantarm yeah perfect it's kind of flying along at like 30k an hour which is just yeah brilliant all right a little bit of a road climb now I think we drop down towards uh, Settle. Don't know any of the gravel around here, so interested to see what's on offer. Absolute stunning view of the Dales today. So you got Ingleborough on one side and uh, one side on the other. Oh, absolutely stunning.
it might be better on this bit. <laughs> Ooh, if I clean this, I'm very happy with myself. Oh yes. So been through the second feed stop, stopped, got a bit of water, and then descended down, passed into Malham, and then an awful, awful road climb super steep and then um it's like the last bit was like 250 meters of uh of gravel and even steeper so yeah i've made it to the top of that so i think it's a wheat top um so so far it's done about 70k uh in three hours and 50 minutes so yeah got another probably about well, 30k so about another just under two hours of riding to go yeah absolutely shattered hours in and 80k done there yeah, 50 miles in the bag yeah I'm 100% dying right now um, one last gravel section left to do which is the one we did um, at the beginning but going in the reverse direction and so that means there's that savage 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 climb to kick it off but then a lovely kind of like dual track descent back into Skipton a bit of road to finish off bikes making a bit of noise here out the back but it's still moving it's had a bit of a kick in today so I'm not surprised it's making some noises but yeah it's still moving so we'll get through i think i'm coming up to the kind of third and final feed stop might have even gone past it but yeah if i have doesn't matter i'm going to carry on anyway and just get this last hour done i've got enough food and water on me just to go in there yeah get through it this is tough, this gravel stuff. This is the savage climb I was telling you about. You can see up there quite a lot of people are already walking. I've been up here once before on a mountain bike. And yeah, I don't think I made, managed to make it up. So if you can see there, the uh, gradient just like straight up. So uh, yeah, all the boulders and stuff. It's gonna be a tough one. Chances of me cleaning this section. Whoa, probably low. Oh wait, I think I've done it. Hard to go now. About 250 meters from the top of the last climb, and then a lovely descent back down to Embassy, and then on the road to where uh, Skipton to the finish. I ended up walking a few sections on that little climb, a little climb for that uh, that tough climb, and uh, yeah, now it's just this into a headwind along the uh, the top here, and uh, yeah, my legs are suffering a little bit. Just trying to. Trying to keep going though, trying to keep going. very 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 tough um yeah i mean i underestimated how tough it was going to be um so yeah i ended up doing 100k in five and a half hours pretty much bang on 2200 meters of elevation um yeah mate it was it was brutal some of that last climb was uh, absolutely brutal like i had to get up and walk um and just yeah just get through it uh, it was a tough tough day 